Here is the ABM depositor. Okay, want to just give you a quick overview of the machine, kind of so you have a better understanding of how this unit operates. Okay, so first of all, the hopper, right? Okay, you have this stainless steel hopper on top and these two rollers inside. I'm going to take off this cover so you can see a little bit better. Okay, so basically the dough will go inside of that stainless steel hopper and these rollers are what extrudes the dough. Okay, there's a template that sits underneath them. But basically the dough sits on top of here. These rollers will both spin simultaneously inward to press the dough down through. As you can see, the tray would be right underneath of here. Um, this is the template that sits just below the hopper where the product will pass through. Okay, so dough goes through these rollers, extrudes through the template, and through the type of nozzle that you know we use for your particular product. These templates can be customized so these ports will match the spacing of the indications for your hoagie pan or hot dog pan, hamburger bun pan, whatever it happens to be using. We can design some specific nozzles if you want to do sort of a flat deposit. All right, so that's the template where the dough passes through onto the pan. That will sit underneath the hopper. And as I said, the, the dough will pass through these rollers as they spin um, into each other, okay? So that's a brief summary of the hopper, the rollers, the template, okay? A couple things. I made this small uh, template just that I drew to kind of give you an idea of how we would deposit your product. Um, the machine is completely programmable. One second. The machine is programmable in terms of how many rows per tray, the length of the deposit, how close the nozzles are to the tray while they deposit, the pressure, the speed, um, and also if you want to have sort of a wipe back function for these longer items. Okay, so this is the program settings. I have a name, obviously I have a long product. I have the product, uh, tray settings. How long is the tray? What are the numbers of rows? What's the space between each row? And what is the length of the actual deposit itself? A um, couple things about the, the hopper, how fast the rollers are spinning, the speed, the time of the deposit, etc and then the conveyor belt speed. So that is how um, we would enter the programs in the machine. You can store well over 100 programs inside of the machine for all your different items. So when you use the machine, all you do is pick the program of the product you want to produce and you're ready for production. Okay, real quickly, my machine here is designed for a tray to pass through on the 18 inch dimension, all right? But I know that you're hoagie pans run in this orientation so you can have this unit with a wider hopper to operate um, and deposit down the length of your hoagie in the 26 inch dimension all right but for the test I set it up this way just so you can get an idea all right so I made this quick template just to kind of show you where the, how the nozzles will deposit into a desired cavity, space, etc. Okay? So I'm going to just run a quick test. As you can see, the pan passes through. Um, I can control how close the nozzles are to the tray. It will deposit down the length. Okay? You can add a small wipe back function to kind of remove the tip of the product. And as I said, we can control how close the nozzles are to the tray, how thick of a deposit you make, the shape of the nozzle, etc. So far different from sort of the manual operation that you're running now. The machine will handle basically the shape, the size, the weight, etc. That's just all part of the setup process, the programming of the machine. 
um, for the particular product, the pan, etc. So that was the ABM unit. Um, again, this is our test machine. Okay, you would likely look at a machine with a wider hopper to run the pans in the other direction. As I mentioned, uh, based on your items, the shape, the size, etc. Okay, thank you very much.